Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this today's video, I'll be discussing about cloud formation drift. Now, what is drift? So, how to use it, how we can track our cloud formation template changes. So basically, cloud formation lists the overall drift stacks of status of the stack. So, in addition, uh, what are the last time uh, drift detection was initiated on the stack or any individual resources we can track it down? So, within the stack, so if it is drifted one or more time or whatever changes it has happened, whether it is being accepted or not. So those things we can track it down. So for this, I will just show you directly the hand on like how we can uh, once I will just create a stack and once we are updating the stack and how to detect the drift. So I will use my previous template. So let's go to the AWS console. So here I'm going to create a stack. So I'm using my existing stack uh, template in which I'm having AC2 instance, two security groups, and one elastic IP is there. I will just show you over here. So I will be using the same resources, elastic IP, two security groups. You can just watch my previous video uh, in which I have just created in the beginning video, the first video in which I have shown you how to create a, uh, not in the first one, in the second one, how we can use this uh, two security groups and resources, what are the things that we can write it in the template. So I will just upload this one. And click next. So I'll just give the stack name SD34. The rest of the things let it be by default be there. So no need of making any changes. and just click create stack. So you can see the events that are happening over here. The security group creation in progress. So it's creating the instance. It'll take some time, one to two minutes. You can check the resources also over here. What other resources are being added? We can So you can see uh, EC2 instance has also been created and Elastic IP creation is in progress. So everything is done. You can just click over here and you can check your EC2 instance over here in the EC2 console. Okay, that's fine, it's running. Now we'll go back to our stack over here. It's still in the progress, let it create it. Okay, creation complete. Now you can see over here stack action, detect drift. So it has been initiated, so we can view the drift results and you can see over here. So there is no changes over here. If you, if you want to compare it, you can just click on this. It's opening that EC2 instance. So we can see drift status in synchronous. It's the same. So there is no changes over here. Now what I will do, I'll go to the security group, this one, and I will add over here one. So let's see over here. So you can check the inbound rules. This interface is quite disturbing. So you can see over here, there is SSH and all is there. So I will just edit the inbound rule. So I will add one rule over here. Let's say I'm adding over here, HTTPS port number 443. And let it be for all the IP addresses. 
and click save rules. So our security group has been modified. Now I'll go back to my stack and I will just refresh this one. It will take some time. So you can see the status has been changed to drifted. Now, last ref check time, that was, this is the time then when we checked and you can see over here, modified. So we can click on this and view drift details. You can see over here, these are the changes that ad has been made. So I added one HTTPS rule to the security group. So you can see over here, current value is this. So that we have added. So this was uh, expected, and this is the actual that is now currently have been added. So this is how we can make a comparison, and we can check what are the things has been changed to our existing stack. Now, if you go down over here, uh, detect drift for resource. If any resource has been changed, no. So there is only this one. So we can either modify or we can just uh, roll back the changes and then we can see whether the things are same or not. So if you go back to the stack, so if you check the resources over here, so that resources has been updated. Now, just in order to see what changes are being made, so we can utilize the strift option. So let's go back to my security group. I will just modify that inbound rules that I've added. So I'll just select this one. Now let me click edit. So I will just delete this one and save the rule. Now I will go back to my stack. ST34, stack options, view drift, or detect drift. So we can just go to the view drift results. So you can see now there is no drift being detected. So this is how we can use the drift option in order to see what are the things that are being modified in our cloud formation template. Now, in order to avoid any billing and all, you can just go back to the stack and just select the stack and delete the stack. I hope you understand the concept of drift detection. And I, ho I hope you like my whole video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.